Joe Paltz asks, is there any chance it's Kendall Fuller? Absolutely Hell no. not. Hell that no. would be a mistake. That's your best cornerback right now at this point. And I'm talking with, with Josh Norman involved. Kendall right. Fuller's your best cornerback. A few moments later. Well, we just Hold heard on. a report We got to go right to this report. And if this report is true, this I don't like this nuts. trade at all. Field Yates of ESPN is reporting that the player to be named in this Redskins trade to acquire Alex Smith is Kendall Fuller, who is Mistake. an extremely gifted young cornerback. Yes. And, and frankly, if, if that's the case, depending this, on, unless the Skins are getting something else back, this is not the a milk great deal. is gone bad, dude. If, if, that is, if that is the trade, then like, I heard Chick just say, we're going to find out what Bruce Allen is made of. If that's the trade, I'm not happy with the trade at that point. Jump overboard. And then from that point on, we got to see exactly what Bruce is going to do. Kendall Fuller? Kendall Fuller. I don't think so. He, he, Kendall Fuller was eyes, your best cornerback this year. Kendall Fuller is your best cornerback on your team right now. That makes this trade a – now, when it was Kirk Cousins, when it was losing Kirk Cousins, acquiring Alex Smith – Hey, you know, you're getting an older guy, but not that big of a deal. You're yeah. signing him cheaper. It stinks to give up the third pick, but the third round pick, but you got to figure they plan to acquire a pick in, yeah. in whatever maneuver they make with Kirk Cousins. Giving up Kendall Fuller makes this a massive mistake. Massive. And we yeah. can't understate that. True. This is a rookie player on a third round contract that still has two years left on his deal, playing at probably a Pro Bowl level. True. And, and you give him up? What? Now, what? I, I, I wouldn't say that that's a good move. What's up, everybody? It's B. Milton. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host here on the Redskins Review. And tonight is a long-ass night. Uh, I just made and hopefully uploaded the video where I talk about the trade for Alex Smith. Told you guys all everything about all my feelings about it. But the one thing that we didn't know about the trade was the player that we traded as, along with a third round pick for Alex Smith. Now we know who the player is, and that player is Kendall Fuller. And I put in the beginning of this video, um, JP Finley, who is a really good Redskins reporter for different media platforms, Brian Mitchell, former Redskins player, Super Bowl champion. And you got to see, you got to see what they thought about trading Kendall Fuller when they first, they didn't, know, they didn't even know for sure that it happened. But you got to see the reaction on their face. So, if you remember in the video that I just uploaded about what I say about um, Bruce Allen, I said, hey, I really don't like Bruce Allen. But if we got this trade and we traded Sua Cravens as that player, I would have had to say, cool trade. I like it. Good job, Bruce Allen. I would have had to bite my tongue against Bruce Allen and say, good trade, dude, you did it. Now, I am dedicating every single one of my videos. Every single one of my videos is going to have a hashtag, fire Bruce Allen. Fire Bruce Allen. In every single one of my videos from here on out until Bruce Allen is fired. That is, that is a promise. It's a promise. This guy has no idea. He has zero idea how to evaluate talent. If Bruce Allen knew how to evaluate talent, first of all, Kirk Cousins would be a redskin. He would have paid this man money years ago because he would know that Kirk Cousins was going to get better over time. Second, you would have never traded Kendall Fuller. Kendall Fuller was the seventh best cornerback in the NFL this year. One of the only bright spots on our defense. What an up and coming talent that we drafted. An up and coming talent that we drafted that yet again the same exact thing. The same exact thing as Kirk Cousins. We draft a guy. He, star he, he starts off kind of shaky. Gets better and improves. 
Shows he's got talent. No, let's just get rid of him. Bruce Allen has to go, dude. He has to go. And seeing the reaction on J.P. Finley and uh, Brian Mitchell's face, I don't see how this dude has a job much longer, man. I really don't see how this guy has a job much longer. What sense does it make? The trade that we just did, what sense does it make? I mean, look at it this way. If we say, hey, Kirk Cousins, let's just, let's just accept the fact that Kirk Cousins is gone next year, right? So we say, hey, we're going to lose Kirk Cousins. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to either have to draft a quarterback or we're going to have to roll with Colt McCoy, right? Or even if we go out and we're going to have to get Alex Smith, right? We're going to go out and we're going to get Alex Smith. Now, if we do any of those things, draft a quarterback, roll with Colt McCoy, or even get Alex Smith, what is the number one priority on this football team? Build a defense. Build a defense. If we're going to sit here and we're going to say we're not going to pay Kirk Cousins, we're not going to pay a quarterback, we're not going to we're not going to commit to a quarterback, we're not going to pay this guy, we're not going to we're not going to spend that money on offense. Let's build a defense. That's what everyone's going to say. Let's build a defense then. Let's take that money, build a defense. We just gave away the seventh best corner in the NFL. A corner that outplayed Josh Norman, who who was worth $75 million. A guy who outplayed Bashaw Breeland, a guy that I like. And now we might be losing Bashaw Breeland next year and Kendall Fuller? Fire Bruce Allen, dude. We got shafted. This is not a good trade. I don't want Alex... If this is the trade, I don't want Alex Smith. I don't want him. I would rather roll with Colt McCoy and keep Kendall Fuller on the goddamn team and start building a defense. If we don't have Kirk Cousins. Even if we have Alex Smith. Build a defense. Number one. Do you know I was going to say earlier... I was going to say earlier... Um, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save my the player that I want for the draft. I said that I was gonna save that uh, that idea for its entire video. Do you know the the player that I want in the draft? It's freaking um, Vita Vey or whatever. Yeah, the the nose tackle out of Washington. Vita Vey, man, that's who I want on this football team. And you can hear. Uh, Brian Mitchell say it as well. With with the money that we saved, with the money that we saved, not paying Kirk Cousins what he's worth now, and getting Alex Smith, we could now not draft a quarterback in the first round, and we could go out and get uh, Vita Vey. We need a nose tackle. We need to stop the goddamn run. Build a defense. If we're going to be serious about building a team, build it. What are we doing, man? Build a freaking team. Build a defense. Build a defensive line. We can't stop the goddamn run for how many years? We need a nose tackle. And I said that on I said that on Facebook. I was talking to um not not JP Finley, but uh uh <clears throat> John Kime. John Kime, another Redskins reporter. I was talking to John Kime on Facebook and I said I said I you know he was talking about what quarterback to draft or this or that and I said I don't want to draft a quarterback. I want Vita Vey at uh in the first round. And he and he said to me and he was like that doesn't make sense. Why would you spend a, a first round pick on a guy on a nose tackle who's not going to play only a few amount of downs, you know, 10 10 to 15 downs a game. I don't give a damn. You know why we need a nose tackle? Cuz we need to build a goddamn defense. We need to build a defensive line. We need to build uh, uh, a solid defensive line and stop the goddamn run. That is priority number one. Priority number one. Stop the goddamn run. And we don't have a nose tackle. We don't have Phil Taylor got hurt. He's not. He doesn't look like he's going to be a viable option. Let's let's draft Vita Vey and get serious about building a goddamn football team. And now now we're taking. Now we're losing defense, key defensive players. For an older quarterback who might get hurt. It makes no sense. 
Bruce Allen makes no sense. Bruce Allen... Bruce Allen needs to go, dude. Bruce Allen is turning this franchise into a drama TV show. That's what this is. This... We, we are on a hamster wheel that we can never get off. And we need to get off the hamster wheel. We need to get... We need to build a team. We need to build a team, man. What is our priority, number one? What were we, 31st in the league? Or last in the league in stopping the run last year? Stop the fucking run, dude. We need a nose tackle. If we're, if we're sticking with a 3-4 defense, we need a nose tackle. We need someone to stop the run. I don't know what to say, dude. I really don't know what to say. This makes no sense. We got got. Again, well, not only did we just lose Kirk Cousins, we got got on a trade. We got shafted. Kendall Fuller, man. One of the best defensive players we have. Played better than Josh Norman. Played better. Josh Norman has a $75 million contract. This is this is a reality TV show. Bruce Allen does not care to win. Bruce Allen got tired, man. You know what happened? Bruce Allen got tired of this whole Kirk Cousins situation. Bruce Allen's sitting around. And he said, "You know what, Kirk Cousins? I'll show you. You think I can't? You think I can't do something to get rid of you? You think I can't? You think I'm just gonna sit here and play to your rules?" I'll go out and I'll make a trade for Alex Smith right now. I'll go do it right now. Now, Bruce Allen looks even more like a fucking retard. I mean, dude, seriously. Seriously. When you watched the beginning of this, when you saw the look on Brian Mitchell's face, Bruce Allen needs to go, man. I hope, I hope there's other people... Within the organization, they have a backlash over this, man. There needs to be a backlash. There needs to... <laughs> whatever needs to be done. And I know there's other people who say, Oh, Bruce Allen ain't the worst in the world. This or that. This or that. Nah, man. What he's doing makes no sense. We are going backwards now. If our option, if we decided we're not going down the Kirk Cousins road and paying for Kirk Cousins, draft a defense. Even, or just build a defense. Even if we sign Kirk Cousins, right? Even if we paid Kirk Cousins money. Do you know what I would say? Number one, that we need to do. Build a defense, dude. Why do you think my number one pick, Vita Ve, we need a nose tackle. We need one. Stop fucking around, dude. Why do you think I was so happy well, in my last video last year? Seriously, the Redskins YouTubers, we could run this goddamn team better than Bruce Allen. And I know that comes off as some stupid ass shit that people think, oh, that's what everybody on YouTube or that's what everybody on Facebook says. No, I'm fucking serious we could. At, at, in, the, in the last off season, go back and look at my video. Do you know what I said was our number one priority? The thing that we needed the most? A motherfucking nose tackle. I've said it. Go back and watch the video if you think I didn't say that. What do you know what, in this year, on this offseason, besides quarterback, do you know what the number one priority is? Motherfucking nose tackle. That's why we better draft Vita Vey or the dude Payne out of Alabama. I'll take either one of those guys. And if, if our pick is not that, I will be completely upset. I will be completely upset because that shows we are not serious about building. We need to build from the ground up. Defensive line. We can't stop the run? Guess what? We better try our damnedest to stop it now. We better try our damnedest, dude. And with Bruce Allen, it's not going to happen, man. It's not going to happen. I'm, 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 I'm guaranteeing you any of this. I'm guaranteeing you. We're going to draft the quarterback in the first round. That's what's going to happen, dude. 
And that is that is the worst thing that could happen. You, in my last video, I just uploaded that is the worst thing that could happen. Draft a quarterback in the first round while we have Alex Smith and Colt McCoy. Don't even know we're going to do with Kirk Cousins yet. Don't even know what's going to happen to him. The only the only thing I can the only thing that I can think of the only thing that's going to you know I'm just waiting because apparently. Apparently these trades cannot happen until March or something. So hopefully between now and March, either Bruce Allen's fired or he just gets so much backlash that he doesn't. We we pull out of the trade. I would rather roll with Colt McCoy as quarterback and have and keep Kendall Fuller on the football team. Why? Because in any direction that we go at quarterback right now, our number one priority should be building a goddamn defense. Build a defensive line. Get after the quarterback. That's why I'm tired of Preston Smith. Uh, going back to the whole, what I was just saying about how the YouTubers, the, the Redskins YouTubers, we could run this team better than Bruce Allen could. So, like I said, number one, you guys know I like Kirk Cousins. I would have signed Kirk Cousins the chance I got in 2015 because if you go back and look at my videos in 2015, I knew how goddamn good he was and how much he was going to improve. Go back and watch my videos. That's the best thing about YouTube is that whatever I say, whether it's dumb or whether it's it, it's good, it's on YouTube. Unless I delete the video, it's going to be there. Go back and watch my videos in 2015 and see what I think about Kirk Cousins and what his future. I would have signed Kirk Cousins back in the day. Now, then we go over and we look at, also, like I said, number one priority in last year's offseason, nose tackle. We can't stop the run. I was pleasantly surprised by Phil Taylor in the pre in preseason, but guess what? He got hurt, and then we didn't have a nose tackle all year, and we are either dead last or 31st in the NFL in stopping the run, and uh, look at our record this year. So, going into this year, number one priority number one. We need a nose tackle. We need to be serious about building this goddamn football team, and we need to build on the offensive and defensive lines. I know it might not be a sexy pick, but guess what? Was the Brandon Sheriff pick sexy? No, it wasn't. We drafted a guard at number five overall in, in the draft, and everyone might have hated the, the pick then, but how do you think? what do you think about Brandon Sheriff now? It was an essential pick. It was a pick that we needed. We needed to draft that pick, and we need a nose tackle I don't give a shit if it's the 13th overall. Or what we could do is, seeing that we're sitting at 13th overall, I'm pretty sure there are some teams that need a quarterback behind us, uh, like the Cardinals. The Cardinals are behind us. Guess what? We're sitting at 13. Hey, Cardinals, you want our spot? Trade us something, and then we'll we'll go back a couple slots, and then we'll pick Vita Vey or uh, another nose tackle uh, then. So if you don't, if you're that worried about picking one at 13, guess what? We still have options to trade because there's going to be quarterbacks on the board that people want at 13, <clears throat> and none of those quarterbacks I want. I am completely ready to go forward next year with Colt McCoy keeping Kendall Fuller rather than getting Alex Smith, losing Kirk Cousins, and also uh, losing Kendall Fuller. That makes no sense. We got got. But just going back to the whole the, the Redskins YouTubers could run this goddamn football team better than Bruce Allen. Uh, I would also like to point to you uh, <clears throat> Louis T's video. I remember watching Louis T's draft videos, and he said he specifically said on all the running backs in this class, I have a man crush on Alvin Kamara. This guy is th this good. This guy is this awesome. Da 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 da. Do you think in the second round Louis T would have drafted <clears throat> Ryan Anderson? who, mind you, has more highlight tape on film playing fullback this year than his actual position? Or do you think Lou T would have signed Alvin Kamara, who had a... I don't know if he was Rookie of the Year, but he probably deserved that shit. But no, what do we do? What does Bruce Allen do? He drafts Ryan Anderson in the second round when we needed a running back or a legit pass rusher, not a guy who's going to play fullback. I don't know, man. So that's it. This is, I'm not going to make another long video. Fire Bruce Allen. It's going to be in every single title from now.
I'm not fucking around. I'm tired of it, dude. I mean, I understand it gets old where we're sitting here and everyone keeps having to say the same thing and we know he's not going to go anywhere, but I don't care, man. It's we we are a mockery of the NFL now. We are we are damn near close to being the Browns. And I'm not in it doesn't it doesn't pleasure me to say that. It's because of Bruce Allen. I don't care what he does with the books. I don't care what the fuck he does with money. He cannot evaluate talent, and he is the one in charge of that shit right now. And you can just tell by this one trade. He got tired. He got tired. He said, oh, I'm tired of this Kirk Cousins shit. I just want this to be over. So guess what? We'll, we'll, lo we'll lose this trade, but I, I don't, you know, then, then it's going to be easy for me because I don't need to worry about the, the quarterback situation anymore. Now we can say we got a quarterback. Yeah, but whether we have a quarterback or not, number one priority should be motherfucking defense. Defense, uh, defensive line. Keeping Ken Fuller the, the number seven cornerback in the NFL. Whatever, man.